All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 16 B GM here with our Colorado Avalanche. We went 45, 33, and four in the regular season. We're up against the Minnesota Wild here in the playoffs. Let's take a quick look, make sure we're on the right date right now. Yes, we are, perfect. We had a really, really good start, and we teetered off at the end there, and I'm really surprised that four other teams beat us. Like, a 45-win season's not terrible, so that's a little shocking, but <clears throat> anyways, we're here. We're going to do our uh, team meetings. Um, I've been playing more GM mode on my own, and definitely this option here is always the best one. Um, it'll only ever do good things, never bad things, so... Um, for now, I'm going to stick with that just because I don't really want to want to mess up with stuff. There's our injury report. Let's take a quick look. Varlamov's out for three more weeks. That really hurts us. But I don't know. Our backup goalie got us into it. Uh, who's our backup? Red Obera got us into the playoffs. So that was really good. Matt Duchenne is injured. I don't remember that. And Nathan McKinnon's still out with that fractured ankle. Till April 23rd. So he's out for another couple weeks here, it looks like. Yeah, one week. <clears throat> this is not looking good at all. Take a quick look at our lineups here. <coughs> because of those two injuries, we got Grigorenko up there on the first. That's that's hard to deal with. I mean, he's great, but uh, actually, didn't he have a elite? Uh... An elite potential there. That's all right. I actually playing through this. This is really nice. The potentials will go up and down based on you know how well they do. We have a very veteran team right now. Holy jeez. Tyson Berry still that medium elite. I like to see that he's a 90 overall right now. That's really really nice. Nikita Zadorov down there. All right, and let's take a quick look at our goalie. Red Obera and Calvin Picard backing him up. Calvin McCard can be something good. I've seen, well, I've seen good and bad out of him, so let's hope for the good side. Um, I do want to see what Minnesota has, but I don't think there's an easy way to do that. Let's try this way. <clears throat> we shall go. Let's take a look at their centers first. Nico Koivu, Marcus Granlund. Or Michael Granlin. They got Michael Granlin, right? Yeah. Michael Granlin. Koivu. Charlie Coyle down there. And then uh, Carter and Schroeder as their bottom two. Um, Zach Parise and Thomas Vanek. They are looking really good. Zucker and Dalpy. Their right wing, Jason Palmerville, looking really good. Nito Niederreiter as well. Eric Haula. Looks like he's going to... Might turn into something down there. Their defensemen, of course, they have Ryan Suter and J uh, Broden. Is that Jason Broden? Jonas Broden. There you go. <clears throat> 95 and an 87. All right. Other than that, they start to tail off a little bit. They're pretty much like us, except they've got one way better defenseman. And they got Devin Dubnik as their starter. 87 overall. Um, with Varlamov out, we're going to have a tough time winning. So let's get to the first game. Here we go. Let's go ahead and sim this game. We're going to sim the first two periods, then go ahead and short sim or slow sim the last one. So here we go. We're going to go goals only and let's sim the period. Ooh, we're down two to one. All right. Michael Grant or yeah, Michael Granlin and Thomas Vanek scored on us and John Mitchell scored for us, which is great. Next period. Oh, three-goal period. Way to go, Landy, Tangy, and Iggy. Our, our, uh, our uh, veteran presence there. That's the old, the old Calgary line there. Um, well, Tangy was with the the uh, Avalanche before he went to the Flames, and then he came back to the Flames and back to the Avalanche. That's a funny journey for him. But Gabe, there's our young first liner going out there and scoring too. So let's go here. <coughs> Short sim this last period. And, or quick, no, not quick sim, slow sim this last period and see what happens. So this should go about approximately a minute at a time, give or take. I don't know why it doesn't do clean numbers, but it doesn't. Oh, and Grigorenko scores. Perfect. First liner again. Come on, come on, guys. 
Come on, five minutes. Oh, McLeod scores two. That's a third liner, fourth liner. I think he's our th third liner right now. I'll double check that. That, what a good game. Blew out Minnesota. Did not see that coming at least. If we were going to win, I thought it'd be a hard game. So we should be the away team in this case. Let's take a quick look. There you go. Goals from six different guys. Six different guys with a goal. That's what you like to see. Spreading out the offense. Cliche, holding it down. Holding Tange out there. And it looks like Tange was our man of the game. Like to see that. Yes. All right. Tange, one of my favorite players ever. Good, good, good uh, passer. That's what I like. Yeah, and there he goes. He gets the first star. John Mitchell gets the second. And Red O'Bear gets the third with that. Duh. That, uh, is that 93% save uh, uh, against with 30 saves. Perfect. All right. So, good first game. That's what we like to see. Get off to that hot start. On on the road we just nullified their their uh advantage their home home ice advantage and it looks like a couple guys had their morale change because of that <clears throat> go take a look at our um morale here jesse winchester's probably pissed oh he's just glad he's not scratched all right we're glad to have you back jesse um i mean you're always there to back up don't you worry child Let's see, when are, do we have guys coming back? Hopefully soon. Uh, still don't know when Matt Duchenne's coming back. Varlamov, Varlamov's not coming back until at least the next round, if not the one after that. Three weeks, one, two, yeah. We're lucky if we get him in the next two rounds. So let's go quick sim this. See what we're up against. Go to the goals and first period. Yeah, Jesse Winchester, he's back in. Scoring goals, I like to see that. I'm pretty sure he's a fourth liner for us, at least a third. All right, we're just continuing on from our last game. That's great. Second period, ooh, and they tied it up on a Zach Parise, Fontaine. They actually took the lead there for a little bit, but Carl Soderberg brought it back down even. Not what you like to see, but that's what'll happen. All right, and here we go, third period. Short sim this, ooh. Grandland scores. There's their first line center. Putting in the work. Oh, and they're going to run away with this. Come on, guys. Let's get out there. Grind some goals in. Don't let leave Red O'Bara out there. Come on. Get him some offense. Yes, Carl Salterberg. That's your second. Way to go. Come on. Complete the Hattie. Put us tied. Come on. Give us a shot here. And, ooh, couldn't quite complete the comeback. Down by one goal. That hurts us, but you know what? We still stole home court advantage, or home ice advantage. Zach Parisi, of course, out there. Clearly brought their team to, brought their team to victory. Ah, that hurts us. All right. But you know what? That's just one game. Just one game. I mean, we blew them out, and then we lost a close one, so there's still plenty of time here. Uh, Nathan McKinnon's only out for nine more days, and Matt Duchesne's out for longer than Varlamov. Oh, oh which is this it's hard, guys. You can't win without your top players out there. You know, like, we, we got into the playoffs in hopes they could come back. Varlamov came back, won us that important game, and then got injured again because I put him in. <coughs> so, you know, he's, uh, he's putting in his work there. But, uh, you know, we might have hurt ourselves in the long run here. Let's go. Goals first period. Here we go. Sim that. Ooh, 2 nothing. <laughs> Don't like to see that. Carter, two goals. Oh, that's not looking good. All right, second period. All right, all right, I'll take it. Let's see if we can't tie this up here. Come on, kill that pal uh, penalty kill. Ooh, that's a four-minuter. That's not good to see. That really hurt a third of our game. Come on, score on this power play. Come on, guys. Ah, Come on, you got to put something in. They're out shooting us. They're out working us. Ooh, and it doesn't look like we're going to pull anything off. And we get shut out. Devin Nubnik shuts the door. Even nothing to us. Yeah, yeah, he had a good game. Red O'Bara played well, too. But, you know, you should expect your team to get at least two goals. Oh, and that hurts. We fall down two to one. They got home court advantage, or home ice advantage back. He 
keep saying home court thinking basketball, but uh, that's, is it time for a shake up? I, I don't know what we can do for a shake up. We got to play better guys. That's about it. I don't know what we can do for a shake up. There's a, uh, there's just <laughs> no one to shake up. Like our best players aren't in there. We can't get anyone better out there. You know, that Verbata pickup, he hasn't really showed up these playoffs yet, I don't think. <coughs> but it's hard when we don't really have that uh, that scoring power. We need Duchenne back. We need, uh, we need we need some extra firepower out there and just not getting it right now. Okay, let's go on to the fourth game here. We just got to put some faith in them. They got to make it through this week. Get us back to our good players. All right, first period. All right, all right, nothing, nothing. I'll take that. I'll take it. That's a good start. All right, second period. Ooh, two to two. All right. Fontaine gets two, and then our our uh, defenseman and... Uh, that's either, I think that's a fourth liner cliche in there. No, he was moved up to the third because of the injuries. All right, good to know. All right, here we go. Slow sim this one. Let's go. Come on, guys. Put something in the net for us. Oh, they're killing us in shots, though. Jeez, Red O'Bear is keeping us in this game. Come on, guys. You got to get shots on net. Get shots on net, guys. Come on. Just put something in the back. Get us get us tied up. Hopefully we'll get some guys back soon. Alright, we're in we're in overtime. Alright, I'll take that. Next goal wins it. Let's see if we can pot one home. Uh, this is gonna be five on five, no three on three. That would be a really funny playoff though, is a three on three. Alright, they're killing us in shots, guys. Come on, we just need that lucky bounce. Come on, nullify. Oh my lord, guys. You have to get shots on net. You can't go minutes without shots. Oh my lord. Holy crap. They've gotten at least three shots to our one in the last two periods. Like, this is ridiculous. All right. Well, we made it through that over time. Let's go again. Come on. Oh, and Zach Parisi ices it for them. Oh, of course, we. I saw that coming, you know, 54 shots to 27. You can't expect to win a game like that. <clears throat> Red O'Bara stood on his head. Our offense has got to pick it up, guys. All right, we're down by three. Time to go shake it up. Got to shake it up. <coughs> and you know what? It's most likely in our power play and penalty kill, I got to shake up. Um, I think I did just insert players, and that's killing us right now. So, let's go and edit those lines. We've got to right now or else our season's done. So, let's take a look. Yeah, of course. There we go. So, we're going to put Soderberg in here. There you go, Soderberg. Come on. Two-way with a power forward and a sniper. Yeah, let's do that. And then down here, we're going to throw in Iggy or... Yeah, let's throw Iggy in. Iggy's earned it. Oh, and my battery might die. I don't want to see that. All right, Iggy, you're in. Iggy and Tange there, down on the fourth line. Okay, oh, that looks good. Let's see our four-man. Winchester and Cliche are still in there, so let's go ahead and put Landy in here. Landy's going in. <clears throat> out there with Verbata. And then out there with Tange. We're going to put Grigorenko. Uh, PK looks good right now. Pretty man should be fine too. Let's check those extras. All right, Landy, Iggy, Tang, and Grigorenko. So let's put Carl Solderberg out there. Solderberg goes in first. Let's put. God, our team's just so injured. Let's put. Is Verbata out there on any lines? I don't think so. No, okay, Verbata's got to go in. All right. Verbata's got to get out there. We picked a Verbata to be a difference maker. Got to give him that ice time to do it. We don't need three on threes right now. Extra attacker, Landy, and we'll go Verbata. 
And let's hope this shake-up is enough. There is never going to be a shootout. <coughs> and you know what? Red Obero has been standing on his head, so we're going to leave him in net. Um, you don't take a guy out who's been doing that well for us. It's our offense isn't pulling through. Like, I mean, he's held them to two goals, four goals, three goals. Like, he's he's held them back. So we got to put a little faith in him. Looks like the Rampage are in the playoffs, possibly. Yes, they are. They just finished their season. Good to know. So at the very least, we'll follow our Rampage, see how they do. <clears throat> but you know what? We're not out of this yet. We can win three in a row. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta earn it out there, guys. So let's go out there and win this game. No losing to Minnesota. Injuries have killed us. Oh, oops, I do not want to play the game. My bad. That is the wrong button. There we go. Check those goals. First period. All right, Carl Solderberg. Yes, he's out there. Go on to pick up the slack. All right. Second period. All right, all right, I like that. All right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. Slow sim, guys. Just cruise. Cruise to the win. Let Red Obera take us home. They're killing us in shots, though. We can't let that happen. Cannot let them kill us in shots like this. Kill that penalty. Yes, there we go. Oh, man. Taking bad penalties here. That was a four-minute ma uh, major. Oh, and Red Obera makes us pay. Or, ugh. Thomas Vanek makes us pay on Red Obera. Come on, get us into overtime. That's where we can steal it. All right. In overtime... Got to see something out of our first line. We got to see Verbata show up. He hasn't done anything for us this playoffs. Got to see Landy show up. He's only got one goal. Oh, and Nito Niederreiter aces it in the first 40 seconds. Oh, does that ever hurt? Oh, my Lord. Red Obera stands on his head and our offense can't get us through. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that, that hurts. That really hurts. Chris Bigris is back. We'll throw him in. He's a defenseman. <coughs> I think it was where Beaupre is. All right, Bigris goes back in. Oh, does that ever hurt? All right, let's take a quick look. Oh, that hurts. And McKinnon was four days away. All right. Well, you know what, guys? You did what you could with who you had. It sucks. It sucks bad. But you know what? Oh, that just hurts so much. All right. Let's go. Watch our AHL team. See what they can do. They're in the playoffs. They're probably even high up there. Up against the Texas Stars. And Nathan McKinnon's back. <coughs> Geez, just two games too late. Ooh, and you know what? The Stockton Heat actually did pretty well too. Interesting. Um, you know what? Before we do this, let's take a quick look at our playoff stats. See where we really went wrong. Wasn't in our goalie. That much is for sure. Let's see. Five points of five games. Cliche. Killing it. Holy jeez. Solderberg killing it. Tangay not bad. Landy, just two points on the first line. Verbata, no points. We pick this guy up to be a sniper, to make a difference. We get nothing out of him. And that hurts us bad. Oh, he was actually drafted by the Avalanche. I didn't even know that. Ah, that's funny. We brought him back. Oh, does that ever hurt us so bad? How are you doing this season? 51. Okay, like you expect him. Ah. Robota killed us. That was a bad pickup when you look at it this way. Defenseman. Bolden, all right. Barry, okay. Johnson didn't show up too much. No goal scoring from our defense. And, of course, you know, our uh, goalies here. Red Obera definitely kept us in this. <laughs> he kept us alive this whole time. That 2.44 is misleading. We had one bad game, and that's it. All right, well, you know what? That hurts, but 
Let's check out our AHL and actually, you know what? Let's type their stats. Vincor looks like he scored quite a decent amount. 55 points for Vincor at 25 years of age. All right, we got to bring him up next season. <coughs> Agazino over there, second in points. Actually, let's do forwards first, real quick. All right, Miko Ratanen, not bad. Let's check our defenseman. Duncan Siemens with 24, all right. No 10 goal scorers in our defense though, but can't expect that too often. And our goalies, S. Martin, uh, Spencer Martin and Eito Kelio, not bad. And then of course, Calvin Picard was down there eating it up too. Actually, you know what? Can we send, oh, we can't send Picard down yet. Not yet, but we will as soon as we can. Ooh, one nothing loss to Texas. Don't like to see that. Second game. Ooh, four nothing loss. Ooh. All right, let's go watch these a little more in depth. Watch this first round. Um. Cancel. All right, first period. Two one for us. All right, second period. Three three. All right, and here we go. Third period. Ooh, and they scored another one. Don't don't go three now. This is only a best of five, so you ha only get three three goals. Oh, and they're down by two now. Oh man, we're just getting trounced. How does San Antonio suddenly do so bad? Oh my lord, they're killing us. Oh, what a bad season for both of our teams. Oh, just just getting trounced there. Ah, uh, oh, that's disappointing. And that's it. They're out in a 3-0 sweep. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. For those who are on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, you can find my information in the description below. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spelt with an L3 US. Make sure you hit those like buttons. Make sure you hit those follow buttons so you can join me in chat. Let me know what you think so we can change this team real time. That's what I'd like to see. Love to chat about what's going on. Other than that, for those of you on Twitch, stick around. I'll be back for another episode in just a minute. Um, and for the rest of you, thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time. Take care.